Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we are going to be working on the live well and the biggest problem with the Sea-Doo live well is that when you put bait in here and you fill it up whether it's on the timer or the on the water level is about here and not only is it really heavy but the water sloshes around when you open the lid and the bait comes flying out. So today what I would like to do is cut about two and a quarter inches out of this and that should lower the amount of water by half it'll be less weight and it won't slosh around as much and then on this side this just trickles in and it's not really aerating so what i'd like to do is build some sort of pvc that comes over and has two holes and comes down and aerates a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If you look at the diameter of the top of here, it's 1.2, it's around 1.25 inside diameter. And if you look at this tube here, I got from Home Depot, 1.25 inside diameter, 10 bucks for the whole tube. So I'm gonna cut right here and then go down two and a half inches and cut here, cut two and a half inches out of it. And down here where I'm gonna cut the second one, it's 1.22, so it's really not that bad. This tube will fit it over here, thus lowering the level. Guys, if you're worried about cutting this stuff up, this these are replacement pieces out there. Under 20 bucks, you can get a brand new one. So you can always go back to the original design. I just think that performance-wise and keeping your bait more live it would be better to do it this way so i got the piece cut out to slip on the two pieces i cut off the two and a half inch section and this had too much play and i didn't want to put any sort of hose clamp on there because i'd rather not have metal even though it's stainless so what i did was this is a three quarter inch coupling from my sprinklers and i just heated it up and it stretches and you can just fit it over both ends just heat it up with a heat gun so there you go that's how i shortened it so what we're going to do first is we're going to mark the direction of the pvc tube that's going to go this way exactly where we want it now we've marked the direction of the pvc so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right here so here's what i got three quarter inch elbow for sprinklers or PVC, just plumbing. Plumbing PVC, three quarter inch. I'm gonna show you how to use the heat gun to, sh to heat this up and stretch it over here. And you see where our little mark is. So what we wanna do is line that up just like that. You don't want it to turn brown, but you want it to be hot enough to where it's stretchy. So just line up the line where we marked and you're good to go. Let it cool off and then I'm gonna show you what we do on this end. We've got the cut piece, we've got this installed. Three quarter inch pipe, PVC, 10 inches long. We've got a cap, we're gonna put the cap on the end. None of this has to be glued, this is not high pressure. And now what we're gonna do is make two holes. I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna try it with two, and I'll, we'll do a test here in a, about a week, and we'll see how that goes. If we need more, we can always drill more. And this is gonna get installed here. And I'm not gluing this in also for the fact that I can do different angles. I think I'm gonna keep it about that angle, not straight this way, not straight down, but at a 45. We'll go reinstall this. And we'll go test it out. Here's the finished product. And the reason why this is going to work much better is if you ever see a real live well aeration hose is always taller than the outlet. And Sea Dew was great for building this live well for us, but the problem is is that these were the same height and so it wouldn't aerate very well and it was too high, meaning that there was a lot of weight back here and the fish would just literally jump out as it's sloshing around so got everything installed 
Next time we go out, we'll test it and then we'll finish this video off. We are going to work on the wash down and live well hose setup. So here's what I got. The original wash down hose that connects from this port back to either of these ports. One will work more than the next on the original setup. But for now, this is our main port. So this connects here, this connects here. You can either do a timer or an on position for your live well. So I've got this, which is a 25 foot coil hose with a nozzle. And we've got different barb fittings. This, which is a quick connect set. And believe it or not, this quick connect set actually adapts to this quick connect set. And when I did a Google search of Fish Pro Livewell Sea-Doo setup, it didn't actually give me any information. It's almost like no one tried. Opened this package from Lowe's and I'm going to stick this in to show you guys. The quick connect does work. So it's literally a universal kit. It actually says fits any brand. I thought this was a proprietary Sea-Doo thing. It's not. Any quick connect will fit. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna connect that there. And I'm actually going to shorten this hose. All you do is unscrew this and pull this off. Go to this one we cut in half. Slide on the connector. And now if you see, we got a shortened hose. Now when we connect it to the live well, it's a perfect length, it's not extra long. Now we're gonna take this 25 foot coil, cut it down to what we need for a wash down hose. And we're gonna connect it with the quick connect that'll go on the back of the jet ski. The only distance you need for a wash down hose is from this connector to where you want to wash down when you dispatch fish. We're only going to do about this long. We don't need much. It's not a big boat. It's just a jet ski. Now all we need to do is take this end and just like the other one, take the screw in connector, get rid of the hose, save it for a later date. Now we just need to connect it to this. So you put in this screw in fitting. Hock to Just like that. Screw that on to the base. And now you have a wash down hose. Screw in the gun. Now you attach the female to the end of the hose. This is not a plug but I bought these off of Amazon, Booms Fishing. And what I intend to use them for is leaving the washdown hose near the live well hose and connecting the two, just like that. I think these are rod holder tie downs. What I'm gonna use them for is to quick disconnect the live well, quick connect the washdown. Attached to this Booms Fishing, I'm going to attach this, which I had laying around for another fishing rod setup. And I'm going to attach this to one of the rod clips here. I can do live well. Wash down hose doesn't go anywhere. I can actually stick the wash down hose in here if I wanted to. So when using the live bait setup, you want the uh, live well working. But when you're not using the live well, you can actually take this hose. And I actually use this as a wash down. And so I just keep it in there hooked up. When I need to wash down, I just do this, wash the fish down, and you're good to go. If you look, water's coming out real nice, nice jets, and it's only gonna get about an inch further past this. If I wanted to switch it, wash down everything. It's enough pressure to wash down blood. And then when you're done, just tuck it back over there. Swap it back to the light wall. And you're good to go.